This for all motorboats out there. I know a freaking warship. in Grecia Mali Lozini. It's a small city in the island of Kras and we are here to buy some things, uh, some fishing equipment, some grocery and the half sailor. Sorry? The half sailor. <laughs> the hook. The hook. A hook. A hook. Because we have only one and it's better to have one more. And now you will see the agility of the landing. <laughs> Let's do a recap of what we need to buy today. Yes. Uh, we need the uh, same half sailor. <laughs> half sailor. I will, I will put an image of it so people can understand. In Italy, it's mezzo marinaio, so for me, it's half sailor. Half sailor. <laughs> and we need uh, uh, some fishing equipment, um, uh, fishing line, uh, a thinner fish line, smaller hooks. Uh, uh wait wait yeah, yeah. and uh, of course we need to buy some grocery and um and that's it we need a trash can yeah the trash can the bucket bucket water bucket yeah, and a... probably something else <laughs> of course There's always something else The half sailor. The half sailor, yeah. <laughs> I already bought this. Yeah, yes. in the same shop. Yeah. Okay, okay, Italian, Italian. This is the the oil pump that either you had it or you don't have it and we need to we need to have this one. And I don't know if we are gonna find it somewhere sometime, so I prefer to get to get it now. And I want this one. 
For what? <laughs> because of reason. Because of reason. Yeah. Like that, that costs 70. Yeah, it gives me a really, less, less, really expensive list price. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. The cameraman. It's not so. It's not so good. Nothing to do with the cameraman. You have to do with. She's absolutely denied for anything that is just slightly technology. Like 1900 cell phones will completely, completely confuse her. <laughs> I feel like a paguro. <laughs> we have everything that we bought on my back right now. The blonde is carrying the fish. And we can head back home for the next month or so without coming to land. This is like, how, how optimistic are we as people? Let me show you. Have we fish even once? No. Have, no, we have fish. <laughs> we have been fishing for weeks. Did we catch a, a, a fish? Twice. How, how much gear do we have? That's, that's how, how optimistic are we <laughs> that we are going to catch something someday. But I'm pretty sure that we, we, will, we will catch something someday. Wait, I just... Blondie is still asleep. When I went to sleep yesterday, um, it was like maybe 10.30 or maybe 11 in the evening at night and I heard this humming uh, sound like an engine or something like that outside I thought it was a uh, like a fishing boat or maybe one of the people on the here on the anchorage had a, a, a generator connected to um, AC uh, sorry to air conditioning or something like that instead it was a freaking warship parked just outside our bay now knowing what we know <laughs> that is happening and I am in Croatia I don't know <laughs> I haven't seen any news for the past like six months so What's, what's going on? Good morning, guys. After days of waiting, we wait, wait. decide. First of everything, good morning. 3,000. No, 4,000. 4,000? You never remember the I exact never remember number. Any. What I know is that my brother is still not following us. <laughs> now you can go ahead. So, after a couple of days, or more of waiting three days. three days of waiting for the wind we decide to use the engine <laughs> because for on uh, Tuesday 
uh, the weather uh, will be not so ideal to stay in this area so we need to find a more protected bay to stay for the night so we are going to the south of the island uh, of Lusigny and we are going to the engine because what is it? So good. <laughs> and we are waiting there uh, a more couple of days to a good weather window but the Mediterranean is not so good and um, we have <laughs> we are tired to waiting. Yeah, the problem with the Mediterranean, at least in this season, during this season and this year, is that either you had no wind whatsoever, like right now is three knots, and it's gonna stay three knots for the whole day. It was three knots yesterday, the day before yesterday, and the day before yesterday, and the day before before yesterday. And at the end, we need to keep moving south, otherwise we are not going to even start this trip. So um, we are going to go to the end of this island. Uh, if we have time, we are going to get to the other island outside of this. I don't know, but at least to move south. Um, my guess right now, the feeling I'm getting is that we are going to be using the engine a lot in this med cruising at least until mid-June mid maybe at the end of June this season is particularly bad for us uh, there's no wind or storms so it is what it is as my friend Eddie says We got excited for about five minutes. We, we we got to the first destination that was this island here, that one there. And being that is early enough, we decided to go ahead and keep pointing south. And there was like 10, maybe eight knot of wind. Um, at that point so we said okay let's open the, the sails and try to you know get get a little bit farther south as soon as we said that <laughs> the wind stopped so now we are slowly drifting to the next destination I don't think we are gonna be able to do more than than the second the second step I don't, I don't think we are gonna get anywhere southern that the next island and the bad thing is that we are going to be stuck in that island for at least three days until the bad, we the bad weather passes. And it's, and it's as per our... Now, this is a, a, a recurring event as much as it's now a tradition. The wind is coming exactly from the island we need to reach. So, yeah, this is going to be a slow ride. It really is slow progress today, but progress at the end of the day. We are now going through this uh, channel of islands. Our final destination was supposed to be um, the original plan. It was to have that destination just there. But at the end of the day, it's a really small, really crowded um, bay so what we are going to do is we are, that we are going to go around this island just in front of us and on the back of it there is another small bay that we can stay on there is a, a small city and everything and also we already know because we were here last year 
in front of the bay we are gonna anchor, there is this guy who cooks the best um, barbecue pork in the freaking world. So we are gonna get some of that, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, but yeah. And the other thing is that we cannot be at the bay with the pork because tomorrow by 9 a.m. it will start coming in a, a a strong wind from the south and the pork bay as we call it is absolutely exposed, uh, exposed to and it will go up to 25 30 30 uh, knots of wind uh, so we prefer to be on the more repaired one the other thing is that after that bad weather with that wind there is no wind again so we really don't know. It's, it's like this is the worst season to be, the worst season to be in in the Met. But again, we, we just want to go as south as possible um, during this period because we already we already sailed all of this last year and the year before that. We already sailed Croatia back and forward a couple of times, so we already know everything here. So for us, it's like the real trip and the real adventure starts when we left uh, the Incoronate uh islands behind us okay so new day new things to fix we have a problem with our uh dinghy it's not a problem but it's a it's an it's an issue of weight the blonde is too heavy what <laughs> being the blonde too <laughs> no what's what's the word it's not heavy <laughs> robust <laughs> now the the problem is that um, we have a problem where the dinghy, when it's only the two of us, it will go into um, uh, plane on top of the water really fast, really simple. As soon as we have even half the, the weight of another person, just 30 kilo kilograms, 40 kilograms, um, it will stop planning on top of the water so the the aft part will bear inside the water and the front part will not come off come out and it, essentially we, we have no no speed and no and, and nothing and we are excited we are using a lot of gas to, to do less uh, less space so i bought i bought a really nice uh hydrofoil fin that never came but I found these guys in a shop in uh, Lucin Piccolo and you need to install them like this on the engine and supposedly they will help the engine come off the water and plane we will see so that's how is it looks I don't know why but the instruction manual says to put them this way looking up but I did what is what is reading so now we're gonna take it for a test if the lovely blonde will assist me okay so the good thing and the bad thing is that this either works or it's gonna be horrible to drive. <laughs> It never, it never went into plane, you know, foiling on, on top of the water with you on the middle of the boat. No. It was always you on the front, being on, on, you know, standing up and standing down, but never, never up at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 